em Emily? Emily? Did she hang up on you? What did she say? She said she wanted to see me tonight. Well, I gathered that much, but of, of course you can. I mean, it's impossible. She made a threat, April. What do you mean? She told me if I didn't come to see her tonight, she might hurt herself. This is dreadful. Uh, we have to do something about this right away. Molly is right, Draper. We should contact the hospital, her doctor, or someone. No, no, wait a minute. She didn't come right out and say anything. Oh, she sounded so well. I mean, I was just thrilled to hear her voice sounding almost, oh, just back to normal. Well, she sounded strong, Molly. It's just that her mood was just so strange. You know, maybe, maybe she's disappointed because you haven't come to the hospital lately. I think that she wants you to see her as a well person. I think that's a very good possibility, considering the last couple of times I've gone there, she's complained about Look, it. Look, why don't I call the doctors at the Hathaway Pavilion, talk to them and see what they have to what say. What exactly is it going to do? I mean, what are they going to try to do, restrain her? Oh, that's awful. If they restrain her now because of this, well, I mean, don't you think that will set her back? Molly, I don't know what else to do. You can do as she asks. You can go and see her. Oh, yes, Mr. Scott. Now, if you were there, you could judge for yourself whether she really needed anything. You can't do done. that, Draper. You are due in court in the morning, and you haven't finished your brief. And I'm not going to finish it unless I get that file from the office. Maybe... Maybe I could pick it up on my way back from the hospital. It is at the opposite end of town. I can't do it. I have got to finish this this uh, financial report for tomorrow's I, meeting. I know, I know that, April. I know that. I could get it for you, Mr. Scott. Molly, it is your night off. Well, I don't mind, really, Mrs. Scott. I don't, especially if it'll help Emily. Well, what do you think, April? Is it all right? Oh, of course. Of course. I guess that settles it. Now, look, April, I don't want to feel guilty for the rest of my life because of something I didn't do tonight. Do you I, understand? I understand that, Draper. Molly, you know the address. I'll write down the file number that I need. And I'll also give you a key for the office. Good, thanks. I understand it all right. Oh, hi, oh, Shelley. Hi, Nancy. Welcome Thank home. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to be home. Good to see you. Mm, how are you? Fine. I took care of Mike just like you asked me to. Thank oh, you. Oh, he I certainly did. did. He never once complained about my cooking. Of course, he didn't eat much of it either. Oh. <laughs> Well, um, how is the job hunting going? Well, I've had three interviews in the last two days. I even got a haircut, but <laughs> no luck yet. Uh, Kelly, I have a suggestion. What about television? You know, I've been spending a lot of time down at station WMON replacing Nicole. Uh -huh. And um, I understand that they're thinking about a new children's show. So why don't you go and talk to Geraldine Saxon? That'd be terrific. Huh? Uh, do you think it'd be okay if I called her tonight? Yeah, yes. probably would. But uh, first, there's another call you should make to Cliff Nelson. Cliff? Why? Well, I don't know what he wanted, but he seemed anxious to talk to you. You could call him now. He's still at the office. Yeah, sure. And that means I better get back to my home office. Got a lot of work to do for tomorrow. Okay. Uh, uh, dinner in a little while. Uh, will you uh, be joining us, Kelly? Uh, no, I, uh... I have a date. Oh. Okay. Oh, I thought that I'd better talk to you as soon as possible. Uh, what about? Well, the story you told me about what happened in Rome. And? I, I, I'd like to know a little bit more. Well, <laughs> there's nothing more than I can tell you. You know, if there is any attempt to indict you in the Dorn murder, you can be sure the DA's office is going to look into your past. I think I better do it first. <laughs> there, there's, there's nothing more that you can know. I told you that I didn't attack that girl in Rome. It was her boyfriend. 
She tried to pin it on me just to save his neck. Well, how did it end? What do you mean? Exactly what I said. How did it wind up? What happened to you and the girlfriend? What happened to this other guy? Oh, well, you know what happened to me. I left Rome because I didn't want to cause my parents' embarrassment over my bad reputation. And uh, what about this girl? Uh, Karen was her name, right? Cliff, look, I, I really don't know what you're trying to get at. Kelly, there's more to this story than you're telling me. Isn't that true? Like what? Like this young hood, the one you said that committed the assault. He was found dead, stabbed to death before you came back to the States. Isn't that true? Kelly, you still there? Y yeah, yeah, I'm here. Well, level with me. Did you know about this? Did you know he was murdered? Yes, I, I knew that. Then why didn't you say so? He was probably murdered by one of his friends. It was a personal vendetta. Yeah, that's exactly what occurred to me. A personal vendetta. Cliff, are you implying that I had... Hey, look, I am not implying anything. This is a new element in the case, and a very important element. You should be aware of that. Uh, what are you doing this evening? I got a date. Can you come over here first? Can't we do it tomorrow? Well, Kelly, this can't wait. I mean, let's stop kidding ourselves. We keep saying that the police are going to find Elliot Dorn's murderer, and you're going to be off the hook, right? Well, they haven't found him yet, and they may not. So, uh, I believe your story, but I... I just don't want anything to go wrong, so you better come over here. Sure, Cliff. Sure, I'll, I'll be right over. Kelly and uh, Cliff Nelson. I wonder what was so important that he had to talk to Kelly right away for. I don't know, but it might have had something to do with what happened to Kelly in Rome. But you said that Kelly already told him about all that. Yeah, but Cliff wanted to see if he could get some details on his own. Seems that he knows some guy who worked for the AP in Rome. And? That's all I know. Cliff hasn't told me anything yet. Well, he'll probably just um, confirm what Kelly said. Don't you think so? If you mean, uh, do I believe Kelly's story? The answer is yes. It would be very simple just to call Cliff and find out what the man said. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Probably won't amount to much, Cliff has a habit of exaggerating things. Mm. 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 Uh, Car and Scott, Cliff Nelson speaking. Cliff, it's Mike. Oh, well, hi, Mike. How are you? I wanted to find out if you had a chance to uh, talk to that friend of yours with the AP. Yeah, uh, I heard from him. Well, did uh, his story of what happened uh, differ from uh, Kelly's version? Well, yeah, there were a couple points of difference. Uh, look, uh, could I talk to you this about this in the morning? Hmm? Okay. Um, don't work too hard, Cliff. Uh, good night. Come on, Kelly, where are you? This raid, I won't be home until 10 o'clock. Let's see. 